My name is Steve Schneider, of course. I'm the CEO of Zap. And today we have a delegation coming over from Japan. And uh, ironically, this delegation is representing uh, several oil companies in Japan. And they're probably uh, wondering if electric vehicles are going to be putting them out of business, or maybe they're wanting to participate in the exciting world of electric vehicles. But let's take a little walk downstairs and go meet Kurt. So, um, the company temporarily transitioned out of the automotive into consumer products which were easier to um, get through regulation. And then uh, when I took over the company in 2002, we went back into the auto. Take a little walk over here. To give Early 90s, uh, I, I started bringing these Volkswagens in from Mexico because they stopped bringing them into the U.S. in 1978. The Volkswagen Beetle, this body, was the, the, they sold more of these than any vehicle in history, and this body style they kept longer than any car has ever been in history. 63 years they had the same body. Volkswagen had tried to get rid of this car many, many times, but the public uh -huh. still wanted it. Uh -huh. So they, would never, they couldn't get rid of the car as much as they tried to get rid of it. That's why I went for 63 yeah. years. Yeah. And one of the reasons that took place, and the significance that I'm trying to tell you here, is the Volkswagen, the English translation is the people's it's vehicle that Volkswagen yeah. had, but it appealed to the masses. It was the car of the people. Yeah. Zap, as an electric car company, um, we try to model ourselves similar to that philosophy because uh -huh. our intention as business model mm -hmm. is to be the electric car of the people, an affordable electric car. In, in the early 90s, as I brought them in, the California Air Resources Board hit me with a $25 million fine because they didn't meet the uh, emission standards of modern day. Oh, uh, so $25 million. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. I, tw I changed sides and I said, well, I'll make the car electric. So yeah. I paid a ten thousand dollar administration fee and uh, launched my career in the electric vehicle business. Zap was in Sonoma County right here, and my company was Voltage Vehicles, which was doing the Volkswagens. Mm -hmm. And so I had Zap put two electric Briggs and Stratton motors in my Volkswagen, mm -hmm. and the car was just as popular in electric as it was in gas, even in the nineties. So just as we figured out how to fix the problem, after 63 years, Volkswagen did finally stop making this car. So yeah, I finally figured out electric has some interest, and now the car is no longer available. We're all looking for small companies that were manufacturing electric vehicles, fuel cell vehicles, solar vehicles, any type of alternative energy vehicles. And at that time, alternative energy, no one really cared about. So. I accumulated quite a few contracts from all these alternative energy vehicle manufacturers at that time in the 90s. They didn't know, have any idea how to sell an alternative vehicle. And so I collected contracts from all over, most which are not in effect anymore. Um, but collectively, I have an entire uh, fleet of potential uh, alternative energy vehicles to go out and market to the public. Alternative, you mean that? It's electric, so what? Well, uh, uh, fuel cell, yeah, okay. um, you know, solar, uh -huh. um, anything besides gasoline. Anything, anything. A lot of little things yeah, happen yeah. in between which take too long to explain. But at that point, I partnered up with Zap and I became the CEO of Zap. Yeah, so well, that was 15 years ago. Yes. Uh, well, well, 94 is when Zap started, but I took over in, in oh, 2002. 2002. But I've been working with Zap in the late 90s all the way through 2000. So one of the first things that I did when we took over is I had an agreement with the New York Power Authority, and uh, they wanted 10,000 electric vehicles uh -huh. and, uh, for inner city in New York. Found a vehicle that I could produce large numbers with, which was this little Chinese car with German uh, power train. Operating fuel cell um, version. And then the, uh, the, the base version was just an electric vehicle that um, uh, was just uh, running on lead acid batteries at the time. We entered into yeah, Michelin yeah. Challenge, um, with Michelin Challenge by 
We won five first place trophies out of eight available. Five. All right. Yeah, we, yeah eight. first there were five, eight different categories. We won five yeah. of them. Yeah, and yeah, it was the lowest priced car in the whole place. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Multi-million dollar prototype vehicles didn't perform as, as much as this little $10,000 car. The German group that was bringing this car to U.S. standards and was supposed to be two weeks away from making this car meet U.S. safety standards. He wanted $10 million to take over where he was at in the process of getting this car to meet U.S. standards. And figuring that it would save two years and having large orders ready to go, mm -hmm. I paid him the $10 million to get the rights to this car. $10 million, and it, it, it didn't meet it in two weeks. It took another year. Um, our stock went through the roof when, it made it, when, we, when we announced that it met the new U U.S. standards. And then we introduced the car in uh, February of 2005. Uh, we, we took it to a show, and we ended up selling $2.2 billion worth uh, orders, hard oh. orders in hand. <laughs> CEO of Mercedes Benz calls me personally. Uh, I fly out to Germany, have a meeting. Uh, Everything looks good. Looks like we got a partnership going. Uh, it was going towards partnership. We shook oh. hands, pictures, you know. The, the contract wasn't done yet. Handshake started. So I raised a lot of money, $425 million in credit. So that um, I can. 425 million dollars. Yeah, they, yeah, raised you know, um, in the credit, um, all documented. And I was ready to buy the cars. I gave yeah. Mercedes an order for $1 billion worth of smart cars, purchase order. So no response all of a sudden after we're going back and forth, no phone call, no email, nothing. So we're like, <laughs> you know, what happened? So. Um, We made so much attention with the car that bigger companies, you know, wanted in on the deal. So uh, Roger Penske, big automotive company in New York, quietly came in from the back, said, "We're bigger than Zap. We got more money. We got more dealerships," and took the deal from us. Uh, so, so you have only one here. <laughs> we sold about a thousand. Oh yeah, we still were sold though. Before everything went, you know, four billion dollar piece of litigation went all the way to the Supreme Court. The case got moved to Germany, and we couldn't fight it in Germany. It was too too much money to fight it in Germany. So, we and so not only did we learn a lot of things. Uh, but we had auto manufacturers from all over the world heard about this story. Yes. And so they, uh, they all wanted to know how we sold so many cars in the U.S. market when their cars, these other manufacturers' cars, were not selling well. Up, uh, the CEO of Lotus yes. said, we're only selling 2,500 cars a year in the U.S. market. Yes. And we would like to know, you know how you did it from a marketing strategy to get so many cars sold in the U.S. market, which is a very difficult market. One of the few cars that started out as an electric car and turned into a gas car. Most cars started out as a gas car, they converted to electric. So there was two challenges. First, find a car. And be a to electric car. Yeah, electric car. First, find you know a car to sell to stay in business, and the other was to meet U.S. standards, which is very difficult. So, with those two problems in hand and still keeping with the theme of the car of the people, we came up with this zebra line. It was low price, like Honda or Volkswagen Bug. Three wheels. <coughs> so we, it was registered in the U.S. as a motorcycle, so we could sell it right away. It's legal on the highway, but we sell it as a city car. 
And quite a few of these cars, they were still, you know, there was still a need for electric vehicles.